I gotta tell you about the false alternative media because they're already out there saying a bunch of baloney about the bombings in Boston. It is ironic that it's on Israel's Memorial Day that America gets bombed, but these people are out there saying the whole thing was fake. These are the same kind of people who said Sandy Hook was fake. And this gibberish destroys the credibility of actual alternative media that exposes lies of the government. Because these people, they use a bunch of catchphrases and sloganeering, and they say things like false flag and blah blah blah, but they paint a picture that is absolutely absurd and stupid. And this is on purpose. And no, they're not agents, they're not getting paid, it's not all COINTELPRO, it's just a bunch of dumbasses. But there are those out there that, they, what I call, well-packaged bullshit. They put on a nice, somebody's making these videos and stuff of, with a shiny bow and a nice glittering package, but inside is nothing but bullshit. But dumbasses love shiny bullshit. They gobble it up. They eat it for breakfast, they eat it for lunch, they eat it for dinner. And so once the, the memes and these stupid videos of shiny bullshit go out there, the retards go eat it up and then troll everybody. And they're very arrogant about it. They're very dogmatic about it. Oh, this is the one. Da, 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 da. This is the truth. Sandy hoax. And they love making names and saying things like sheeple and stuff like that. And they're just diminishing and destroying actual journalists that look at facts and show that the government often lies. There have been plenty of actual false flags in history. Sandy Hook was not one of them though. And for them to say, oh, the children didn't really die. Oh, it was part of the LIBOR scandal. Oh, this girl doesn't have any legs. And just crazy, stupid stuff. The shiny bullshit is fed to the lemmings. And they go around and they're very loud and they discredit everyone else. So what I want you to do is as soon as you see this crap, don't share anything, don't just ignore it. You need to lay into these people and tell them how stupid they are. And no, don't let them say, oh, well, if you don't believe me, you just trust the government. No. It doesn't mean anybody's believing the government's lies. The FBI has a long history of entrapment. There's nothing wrong with questioning bombings or making or, or possibly thinking that it could have been orchestrated by the FBI using either a useful idiot or just doing it themselves. But that's very different from saying everything's fake and, and going off into cuckoo land. So the Sandy hoaxers and that whole crowd and the missile hit the Pentagon crowd, all those retards, all those stupid, foolish, loudmouth, arrogant dickheads need to be ridiculed. As soon as it pops up, smack it down. No, this is garbage. This is shiny bullshit. So as soon as you see it on Facebook, whatever, just write shiny bullshit right under it. Let them know that we're on to them. We got a term now. Terms are very powerful. Shiny BS. That's all you got. Shiny BS. Package of bull with a ribbon. Cutting them off in this distancing factor will help us get actual news and factual information out without having the stigma that has been so well ingrained and tied to conspiracies categorically. It shouldn't be like that, but it is because of the conspiratards. So now when you see it, tag it, shiny BS. I give my two cents on Boston. It's not to be insensitive or anything like that, but I just want to share my thoughts about it. And this is fresh off the news, so I'm sure there'll be more information coming out, and we'll have to follow up on this. But this is just what I want to share with you my first thoughts here. I find it highly suspicious anytime there's a terrorist attack or a so-called terrorist attack because the FBI has this long track record of entrapping useful idiots and getting them to bomb something or attempt to bomb something and they catch them and snatch them up. It's, it's easy for useful purposes. The key thing here is that one, there was a drill going on. This was a story about the bomb sniffing dogs being there already. Probably because there's a drill going on. The key word is drill here. You know, dogs could be mistaken for whatever, but these are bomb sniffing dogs because they admit there was a drill going on of, of a supposed controlled bombing that was reported in the Boston Globe. What I find hilarious is that the government lies so much about terrorism that no one can full tilt just believe it when it comes out based on TV news and newspapers. Everybody's looking 
over every detail of the event, combing over it, looking for mistakes, because they're so used to being lied to by the state. That's how bad our state is. First, they arrested a guy from Saudi Arabia who was in a hospital for shrapnel wounds. Why would the perp be a victim when he's the only guy, unless there's a team, who knew that there were improvised explosive devices? Wouldn't he not get hit by the shrapnel? Oh, because he was an idiot, that's why. Oh, well then, mystery solved. I'm not buying it. Uh, maybe that's already been debunked because the news is fresh, but I'm not buying this Saudi guy in the hospital that got hit by shrapnel. If he did get hit by his own bomb, then he really was a useful idiot dupe from the FBI. But they actually have surveillance tapes, supposedly, so this might be for once a legitimate terrorist attack that wasn't just coached by an FBI team. And please, catch my sarcasm there. It's important not to let the government or the Jonestown, Sandy Hoax, exaggerating conspiratards hijack this event. Don't let people say the whole thing was fake and no one died and it was all staged. And also don't let the government get away with its official story. Comb the news. Look for all the details. Come up with a hypothesis. But don't be rigid about it. Don't say this is the truth. We don't know yet what happened. We have strong reason based on prudence and precedent not to just gobble up what's given to us from TV, but you've got to shoot down the conspiratards as soon as they pop up. You have to distance yourself and say no. If anybody starts coming out saying the whole thing was fake or something like that, say no immediately. Smack them down as soon as they appear. But as far as just swallowing the official narrative, I wouldn't do that either. It's healthy to question this, but do not try and say that any wild crazy conspiracy you say is just questioning the event, man. I'm just trying to question stuff. Bullshit. Disinformation is disinformation. Questioning is fine. Being an absolute idiot with the dumbest questions imaginable and rigid dogmatism of what you think didn't happen or did, that's not questioning things. That's just called being a sucker. It's absolutely horrible these people died. But again, it could be our own FBI, it could be a terrorist attack. I don't see how they benefit from that whatsoever. But then again, 36 killed in Afghanistan today, 31 in Iraq. This is ongoing in other places because of our own foreign policy. This is what other people deal with all the time, and they know 100% where it's coming from, and that is why they hate us.